Hello, this is Steve from Commercial Forest Products, and today I'm here to make a video on something that I thought was maybe a little too obvious to actually make a video for, but the more I thought about it, I think this might be a question that people would have. And I'm going to give you two foolproof ways to find out if the wood you're looking at is roasted or unroasted. Now the reason I almost didn't make this video is because it seems so obvious. Well, you just look at it, right? I mean, we've been doing roasted woods for 10 years, how can you not know if a wood is roasted or unroasted by looking at it. For example, we have two pieces of Eastern sugar maple right here, neck blanks actually. We've got a plain sawn, unroasted, white hard maple, flat sawn piece of Eastern hard sugar maple, and we've got the same thing in a quarter sawn configuration. Obviously this one is the roasted one, this is unroasted. You do not need to be a rocket scientist to figure out which is which. Now let me turn your attention to this piece of, these two pieces of black limba. We've got both our eight quarter African black limba. One piece is roasted and one piece is unroasted. And you look at them, and obviously this is the roasted one here on the left, unroasted on the right. But what if they went together? Now it's a little bit more tricky. Or what if you're dealing with something like alder or walnut? We actually roast genuine mahogany. Sometimes we roast basswood. It's not so easy to tell if one's been roasted or if it's not been roasted simply by looking at them, especially when they're not side by side. So, what do method you do? number one, smell the wood. This piece of ro roasted black limba has been roasted probably for about two or three years in our yard and it still smells charred. Um, it's always gonna smell charred um, until it gets finished, um, but essentially that smell's not going away if you're looking at raw wood. So, smell it. One has that charred smell, the unroasted will not. The second method is to check the moisture level in the wood. Basically, any roasted wood is going to be about 4 to 5% moisture content. Any unroasted wood, um, usually hard woods, are going to be anywhere from 8 to 10% moisture content. So, let me just take out my trusty Wagner moisture meter. This thing never lets me down. I've had it for years. I would strongly recommend you get one. Uh, Wagner is the best, and this one was about $300, and it's more than paid for itself. So, basically, right now, it's not reading anything. It's on zero. We'll go ahead and put it on the regular... African black limba that has not been roasted and let's see what does that moisture meter say nine percent okay that's about right do the same thing let's move it over to the roasted African black limba and about what I would expect three percent just for fun we'll do the same thing with the eastern sugar maple unroasted nine percent roasted 5%. Realistically, you're never going to get a moisture meter reading that low, 4 to 5%, unless it's been through the roasting kiln. A lumber just will not acclimate that low on its own unless it's in some extreme condition. So those are two very solid ways of determining whether or not the wood you're looking at is in fact roasted wood. See you next time.